Hey everyone, just wanted to share a project with you that I recently finished and it's a white jewelry box that I got from a local thrift store and we had basically gotten three of them, uh, three jewelry boxes and they were actually in really pretty good condition except that they were missing like one of these little um, knobs right here, so, but, that's alright, but, um, so, basically, I pretty much kind of knew that I wanted to do a shabby chic theme with it, because it's lined with, um, pink suede in the drawers, so, this is how it turned out, and I really like how it turned out, actually, so, to start off, I um, basically took a um, porcelain cherub and I painted them white and um, to kind of really match the um, the jewelry box a bit more. And then I took this frame. That one was also a thrift store find, and I cut out a piece of the. Um, what was it? Pink Paisley Butterfly Garden Collection. And then I stuck that in there as the picture. And with this whole box, I used the Butterfly uh, Garden Collection on this whole on this whole, whole project. So, um, right over here, as you can tell, I cut out the little gypsy chic little lady. <laughs> Fairy. And then um, I took this um, pillar and I got it from a thrift store as well, which is really cool. And it's made out of plaster, so it's really kind of heavy. But um, I adorned it with a whole bunch of I Am Roses flowers. And below I'll put in the description which, um, which flowers I used. And then I just glimmer misted them with Lindy Stamp Gang and a little bit of some um, Tattered Angels as well. So for the Lindy Stamp Gang, I used my Mojito Green. And I also used Fuzzy Navel Peach and a bit of Bubbly. And then for Tattered, for, sorry, for tattered Angels, I used Bahama Blue. Um, to get kind of um, that color right there, and I've been using actually like a lot of the um, the two toned effect on my flowers, and I kind of got that technique I think from Fina Bear for um, she designs for Prima, and she does this really really awesome technique with her roses and her flowers um, to where she'll do like. Um, kind of have like a two-tone effect like mine but um, and then I used um, the Tim Holtz timepiece and I painted it in white and just um, I used what was it it was a uh, rub and buff with um, yeah it was rub and buff in antique gold and then for the spray it was a um, Christmas spray that I got from Michaels, and it's in like a lavender color. And then I used some Recollections Bling, and then on the inside, I used the Tim Holtz Dress Form Dye, and then I covered it in the Butterfly Garden Collection, and then I um, embossed it with the Tim Holtz. Um, texture fades, and I think it was the patterns and stitches um, set. And then I added some iron roses for her belt and some pearls for her necklace. And then I fussy cutted this flower and I adhered it to some white chipboard. And then I kind of um, uh, watercolored it to kind of make it more colorful and make it pop a little bit more. And then I added some um, some more lace and some pearls at the bottom as well. And then up top here too. 
so that's my project and you can check out more of our projects at heirloomanthology.blogspot.com and we also have a YouTube as well it's Heirloom Anthology um, as our YouTube name so if you guys want to check out some more projects that we have did in the past or in the future you can do that as well so here it is thanks for watching bye